what's up guys name is ray and welcome to another genshin impact video today i want to show you some spots where you can farm different ores most of them i found myself and yeah let's get into the video so the first ore spot is right uh, here i uh, called it the white ore spot so let's just get to the teleporter which is in woven dome so you can just teleport over there um run in the direction where i marked it it is um on the down right from the teleporter and then you got a bunch of different ores here so usually there is a lot of more white ore around this but i think i found it um like two days ago from now but usually there is way more so around here the next spot where we want to go is in let's say uh, in the south of king's village so i would use this teleporter teleporter which is bishu plane in liu oh yeah if you are there you have to climb up this big mountain and after you got here you have to fight like some of the enemies okay after you fought all of them you go over there and there are a, a bunch of these crystals. Uh, you will need these crystals to um, craft your weapons. So this will be very useful in the later stage of the game. If you want to get stronger. Okay, next spot is... Uh, let's go to Minion Village. In Minion Village in general there is a lot of different uh, ores today i'd like to show you the spots that are found that are very worth so yeah if you like don't want to mark specific spots what i can recommend is after quite some time just go to minion village and look around um the statue of the seven teleporter and yeah you will find a bunch of different ores so the first one okay let's go there there is a lot of noctilus jade you have to fight a camp and there are at least four noctilus jades after you got the noctilus jades you still have the opportunity to get you some extra iron chunks here if you like to and then just go directly in the other direction so and this spot usually gives you some more uh i don't know what exactly some more noctilus jades but i think i also just uh farmed them like two days ago okay then they're all Again, some more iron chunks. So in general, around uh, Minion Village, there is a lot of ore spots for Noctilus Jades, White Iron, and Crystal Chunks. Next spot that I can give you is another spot for crystals. It's uh, down empty Tianhang. Just go to the teleporter, see all the clouds, which is um, like down in the Liu Horror. So just use this teleporter after you got to the teleporter move in this direction so at, on the north of the cart and usually um there is a bunch of crystal chunks down there so we have these we also have this one And there we have another free, so it's pretty worth it. The next spot is right here. So you just have to fight this camp. And after successfully clearing this camp, climb out this little mountain here, or the wall. And go down here, and you can get yourself even more noctilus jades so noctilus jades 
It's actually very good if you want to uh, raise up your Vido, like I want to do. Another spot is down on the uh, bottom left corner of the map, which is in Kingshu Pool. So just use the Alicia teleporter because it is the nearest one. And then fly down here. So if you didn't clear this, uh, there will be a bunch of enemies that you have to fight in advance. So it's a spot that's actually not very easy to reach so as soon as you're underground and you want to reach that spot as fast as possible just go over there that's the fastest way i can show you i can give you and then go over here so this will give you at least uh, another three noculus jades and one crystal chunk so yeah, for the purpose of the video, I don't want to fight against these. The next spot is on the very right of the map. It is on Guyon Stone Forest. So I usually use Domain of Blessing to teleport over there, which I already did. The, there you can form your Corpus Lot. Lapis So it's one it's just one but that's actually not what we are looking for So it's a bit more effort because you want to climb up that mountain So as soon as you got yourself on top of the rock so which is actually still here You can get yourself a additional uh, core lapis these are two, which are like very near. And what we want to do after that is to fly to that little island there. So you have to look at this direction. We want to get to this one, okay? As soon as you're there, you can get yourself, again, a bunch of crystal chunks. Then you have to fight, uh, sometimes you have to fight that little guy, which I want to show you very soon. Uh, it is this guy. Yeah. So yeah, if you don't want to fight him, just, just run around, get your ores, and get out of him. Uh, for this island, it's very important that you run around the whole island. So you get quite a lot. So, yeah, you can see see it right now. But if you run around, he will definitely see you and he wants to fight you. So, so after fighting him down, I'm back here. And get my last crystal chunks. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed my farming spots, my all farming spots that I'd like to share with you. And if you guys did, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, and I see you guys next time. If you guys want to see more Genshin Impact content, videos should pop up on the screen right now. Make sure to check them out and I thank you for your support.